A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver. The Lone Ranger. pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice than the masked rider of the plains. It was his strength and courage that brought law and order to the western United States. His daring and resourcefulness that broke up the outlaw bands on the frontier. But above all, it was his ability to judge character that enabled him to lead the pioneers along the trail of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Basin City! Hey, oh, Silver, away! A stagecoach rattled its way through the rolling, heavily wooded country on the trail to Basin City. It carried but four people. One was the driver himself. The second, a stocky, bearded passenger who had chosen to share the driver's seat. Inside the coach sat the second pair. They were an elderly couple who seemed to enjoy every minute of the trip. Caleb, I never dreamed any part of the world could be as beautiful as this. Just look at those hills rising over there. Aren't they grand? And this air. I declare, Caleb, if I breathe much more of it, I'll be a girl again. Glad we came, Edith. You know I am. Think you like living the rest of your life in the West? Caleb, now that I've seen it, I'd never live anywhere else. Never. Sure. I'm not just pretending to make it easier for you, dear. Honestly, I'm not. I, I mean it, every word of it. Well, honey, I guess in spite of all that's happened, I'm a lucky fellow. I've got the finest wife a man ever had. Thank you, Caleb. I like that. And I have the finest husband. <laughs> Wish I could agree on that. Well, what happened wasn't your fault. Stop blaming yourself. Everyone else blamed me? They don't know the truth. We do. <laughs> How could you know those investments would fail? You thought they were safe, didn't you? Of course. And they had no right to talk about you the way they did. Well, you'd have thought you were a thief. They still think it. Well, we'll forget about them. We'll not even speak of them. When we get to Basin City, we'll pretend that we've never lived anywhere else in all our lives. I almost wish I'd lost my money along with Sam. Caleb. Well, you know why, Edith. That was what made everyone suspicious. They couldn't understand why I could manage my own fortune successfully and still lose the money Sam had left in trust with me for his boy. <laughs> I don't understand it myself. But why should you have thrown good money after bad? For the looks of things, I guess. Oh, nonsense. Didn't you offer Ted any part of your money? He thought rightfully he... <laughs> he laughed in my face. Said he wouldn't take money from me as a gift when it was stolen from him in the first place. Said I could save my charity. 
And he'd get what was his through the law. And the court said you were innocent. And behind my back, everyone whispered I'd simply been lucky and clever. Caleb. Well? You remember your promise. What promise? That you'd not go through this over and over again. That you'd stop speaking of it, torturing yourself. A man can't help his thoughts. You can try. I... All right, Edith, you win. We'll forget it. We'll forget the whole thing. Oh, splendid. Oh, look there, Caleb. That valley. Did you ever see anything like it? Why, it's just as if it were carpeted with flowers. Uh-huh. It's a fine country, Edith. It's going to be a fine place to live in. Get up there! Get along there, you lazy, ordinary critter! Get some ginger in you! Get up! Get up! Driver! Huh? That fella inside the coach with his wife. What'd you say he called himself? I didn't say. Oh. And what for are you all the time asking questions about him, mister? What's he to you? Well, I was just curious, that's all. Well, the company didn't hire me to put out information. All they're paying me wages for is driving these horses. Get up, Pa! Get up! I didn't mean no offense. Nah. Fine looking gent, though, ain't he? Guess so. Easterner, huh? Dunno, maybe. I read some Eastern papers once. Who <laughs> did you? Well, that's just fine. Uh-huh. Had all kinds of news in them. Lots of funny things happened back east. Recollect one thing in particular. Huh? Recollect reading about how a fella in business back east was up in court for stealing cash that had been left with him for the son of a friend of his. Get up! Get up! Court said he weren't guilty. Reckon folks thought he was, though, because the paper went on to say this gent was selling out his business, planning to pull stakes. Well, what of it? Recollect the fella's name, clear as day. It was Caleb Saxon. Yeah. Now, take this fella inside the coach. Description I read puts me in mind of him. Mm-hmm. And that fella's name, Caleb Saxon. I was looking at this gent's baggage. Got the CS printed on it all over. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a funny thing if them two hombres turned out to be one and the same? Eh? Wouldn't it? Be a sight funnier if you could quit asking questions for a spell. <laughs> Don't like them, huh? Hope you get the point. Mind if I ask just one more? If it's about any passenger of mine, you can save your breath. Oh, team. Well, what is it? You see that trail up ahead caught up from this here? I see Going it. Going in the woods? I yeah. see it. Ain't that the one they call the Creek Trail? Mm-hmm. It is. Then when we get there, you turn down it. Are you loco, mister? Turn down that trail? Why, what do you... A gun. <laughs> yeah, which I can use if I have to. You... Don't holler, friend. Don't make no funny moves. Just do like I say. That's all right, Hutter. That's enough wood on the fire. Ah. You'd better saddle, Scout. We may leave before long. Ah. Hunter, do it. Well, young fellow, we'll reach Basin City before nightfall. I know. I was just wondering. Huh? You traveled with Tonto and me for the past three days. When we found you, you were without supplies or money. And once more, you were completely lost. You asked if you could join us. We told you you could. I appreciate it. How much? How much? Why... I'm afraid I don't understand. Enough to tell us the truth about yourself now? Truth? I, well, I have. What makes you think oh, that wait. I... But I've I don't around... get in deeper, Ted. You told us you were a cowboy. I... It took about ten minutes for Tonto and me to find out you knew less about the things any cattleman would naturally understand than any western youngster of ten. I... Well? I knew you'd guess. Now, what is it, Ted? Why didn't you tell us the truth? I don't know. I just thought that... Yes? That I that I wouldn't have to do so much explaining that way, I guess. But it didn't work out, huh? You're an Easterner? Yes. Broke? I shouldn't be. I should be well off. The money I had was stolen. Stolen? By a man who was supposed to have been my father's best friend. I see. And how did this happen? My father left the money in trust. His friend was to manage it until I came of age. And when I did, well, the estate, all of it was gone. And you came west to get a new start? No. Then what did the you The man get? who stole the money that should have been mine is on his way west. The law couldn't touch him. 
that I'm going to have justice if I have to go outside the law to get it. Oh? And mask men. Yes? I've noticed some things these past three days myself. For instance? Well, I've heard things you and Tonto have said. You're no outlaw in spite of that mask. So you found that out, huh? Well, what about it? You don't like crooks. You help those who need help but can't help themselves. Meaning? We're heading for Basin City. The man I spoke of is heading for the same place. And? Look, masked man, do you think you could... I mean, would you... Oh, the dickens with it. I, I'm just trying to ask if you'll help me like I've heard Tonto say you've helped a thousand others. What's the name of this man you've mentioned? Caleb Saxon. And you're sure he stole your money? I know he did. Then when we get there, Ted, we'll make camp outside town. When Tonto goes into Basin City for supplies, he can do some investigating. You mean you will help? If what Tonto learns backs up your story, you have my promise. I will. Can't you get no more speed out of them horses, driver? You want me to kill them? Don't give me that. I don't... You're just tolling. You're hoping somebody will notice you're off the regular trail and follow along to find out why. But you ain't working that trick on me, mister. Give them critters the whip. You don't have to keep that gun aimed right at me all the time. You'll like your toll. Get up. Get up, pal. Get up. That's better. How much farther do I have to go on this trail? What difference does it make to you? Scared I'm going to finish you off when we get there, huh? Mm, sounds like your style. <laughs> well, just keep that in mind, and maybe you'll be a mite more anxious to follow orders. And don't worry about stopping. I'll tell you when. Sneaking Kyle. What'd you say? Nothing, nothing. We better not. Hey, I think this must be just about it. Uh -huh, it is. All right, driver, you can let up on them horses. We're stopping right quick. Where? Pull up just this side of where all them trees branch out over the trail. Mister, I think I've got you placed. <laughs> yeah? Ain't you Jet Bledsoe? <laughs> uh-huh, that's me. Thought you must be. Figure you can get away with something like this? I reckon. What's the idea? What do you figure to gain by it? That's my business. Uh, here we are. Pull up. Whoa there. Whoa. Whoa, you critters. Whoa up. Whoa. I'm climbing down. You sit right where you are and keep your face closed. It'll be safest. You... You heard me. Shut up. Uh, Caleb, we stopped. I wonder... Oh, uh, do you know why we're stopping here? <laughs> well, it's so you folks can get out. But we're going to Basin City. <laughs> Maybe you thought you was, but you ain't. Come on, now, climb out. Caleb, look. A hole up. And this gun can go off, mister. Oh, we aren't going to And do... if you argue any, it will. I do like I told you. Well, I have nothing worth stealing. <laughs> nothing at all? Nothing in that bag you're holding onto so tight you can't let go of it even to get out? Who told you? Where did you find... I got ways of finding things out, Mr. Saxon. Caleb, he knows our name. And plenty else. All right, driver, get going. And the minute I get to town, you skunk, I'm setting the law on your trail. Get up. Get up, sir. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. What are you going to do with us? Well, there's a path there. Follow it. But you can't do Back this. Back in them trees away, you'll find some horses. <laughs> and you better know how to ride them or you're going to find yourselves mighty uncomfortable. You've had this plan from the first. <laughs> uh -huh. Now get going. Dando! Aye! What's the time now back from town so early for? We'll soon find out. Oh, scout, oh, fire. Oh, oh, fella, oh. Uh, there plenty happened. Tell her, what is it? A crook hold up stage. What? Fella named Saxon on stage. No. Crook make stage, take Creek Road. Make people leave there. Stage get to town empty. Tonto, you mean to say someone held up the stage, forced it over the Creek Trail, then made Caleb Saxon and his wife leave it? Oh, uh, that's right. Well, I'll be... Ted, did Caleb have cash with him? He must have had thousands. Everything he owned was turned into cash, and I'm sure he carried it with him. Here, Silver. What are you going to do? You're staying here. Tonto and I are going to have a look at that place where the stage stopped. But how could... Yep. But it looks to me... Huh? As if your money had been stolen from the man who had stolen it from you. Ready, Tonto? Uh huh? Then let's go. Get him up, Scott. Kyle Silver, away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. It was dawn when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached a spot on the creek trail where the stage had stopped and... Oh, oh, this oh, is... Oh, 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 boy. Oh. And this is the place, all right, Tonto. See, the tracks of the stage are deeper here where it stopped for a while. Ah. Beyond there is where it turned around to head back for the main trail. Mm, that right. And now to find out what became of Chet and Caleb and his wife when they left the stage. So what's that there? Someone's going this way on foot, Tonto. Ah, there, broken branch. Yes. There's the mark of a woman's shoe. Ah. Think the horses can make it through these woods? And we better dismount and go on foot ourselves. Ah, horse make it all right. Then come on. All right, old fella. Tonto, follow me. Jet had led his two elderly prisoners a distance of several miles until they finally came to the abandoned cabin Jet used as a hideout. Then, several hours later... I'm leaving for a while. Wait. You ready to tell what you've done with the rest of your cash? I tell you there isn't any more. Every dollar I had in the world was in that bag. Well, I'm leaving you to think it over for a while. Don't try to get away. You'll just be wasting your time. Ain't no windows in here, and I got this door fixed so that it can be barred from the outside. Listen. Adios. Well, he, he wouldn't believe me. Caleb, what are we going to do? What can we do? But we've got We're to at that out. fellow's mercy. What's the use of trying to escape? Even if we did, how could we find our way to town? We'd be lost before we'd gone a mile. What do you think he'll do? I don't know. Will he? Now, don't worry, Edith. The man doesn't look to be a murderer. But he can't turn us loose. He did the driver. This isn't the East, honey. Given the chance to get away, how would anyone pick up his trail in a wilderness like this? Yes, No, that's right. he'll just hold us until he's convinced I'm telling him the truth. How much money was there? 40,000. Everything we had. And he thinks we have more? He's not satisfied with all that? The fellow seems to have the idea an Eastern businessman should be worth a million or so. He doesn't know how mistaken he is. Poor Caleb. Mm -hmm. You've had so much happen to you. Now when we thought we could make our home out here with enough money to last us the rest of our days... It's stolen. I'm not afraid. We'll make out somehow, honey. Of course. But it's going to be hard. Terribly hard. Oh. If we could... Quiet. Uh, what? He's coming back again. He's opening the door. Oh. Won't you please... Uh, oh. Masked. Yes. Another outlaw. Not an outlaw, Caleb. Though we'll not argue the matter. Then why do you come here? A friend of mine and I trailed you here. You what? We saw Jet leave. We waited until he had gone. You came to rescue us? I'm not sure. But then why Your do you... Your wife, yes, Caleb. But as for you, I'm not sure you don't deserve just what you're getting. What do you mean? Jet took you prisoner for the money you were carrying? Yes. You stole that money. The law let you go free with it. But you deserve punishment nevertheless. Uh, who told you that? The man your husband victimized. What? Ted Bellman. Where did you meet him? That doesn't matter. All that matters is that I've heard his story. And you believed it? When he told it, he was sincere. Yes. Yes, he would be. And what do you mean by that? He does think I'm a thief, stranger. But you deny it? I do. You've got to hear my side of it. And you've got to believe me. I swear I was completely innocent. My judgment was bad, yes. But I thought as much of Ted as if he'd been my own son. If he would have accepted any part of my money as a gift, he could have had it and welcome. I see. Every word my husband has told you is the truth. Can't you see if I'd really been a thief, I'd never have tried to make up Ted's loss? Ted must have been bitter because of his disappointment. He wouldn't let himself see the truth. You... You mean you believe me? Yes. Then you'll help us. You'll get us away from here before that man comes back. We'll have to hurry. He might return any moment. Tyler will give us warning in plenty of time. But don't you and see... And you're the... remaining here. What's that? You're remaining as I found you. Jet's prisoner. No. 
No, you can't. Oh, please. Goodbye. Wait. Wait. Come back. Ask man. Come back. Save us. Don't leave. Come back. Come back. Come on. Get him up. Get him up. Gone. Come here, Caleb. He, he said he believed me. I thought he'd save us. Take us away from here. Please. Edith, why did he do it? Why? Rain up, Tata. Oh, oh, this will be. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, I'm leaving you. Huh? Going back to our camp and get Ted. If you ride up to the top of that hill when I'm gone, Kimasabi, you'll be able to see the cabin. Uh, time to do it. But why you not help, Tuller? Caleb? Uh. He'll be in no danger, Tuller. That's why I'm leaving you here, to see that nothing happens. Uh. But we're not going to rescue him. Why that? Ted is. Ted's bitter. He believes Caleb's defrauded him. But if we can force him to come to Caleb's rescue... You think him... He may find it's more difficult than he supposed to hate a man he's done a kindness. Tonto, don't leave until I return. Uh -huh. Go on, Silver. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry. Ted! Hey! Hello there. Hi. Get to the saddle. Hi. Oh, hold this, Silver. Hold on. Hold this. Oh. Steady, boy. Steady. Where's Tano? Is there something wrong, friend? Tano's all right. I left him behind. Oh. Came back to make a request. I hope you won't refuse. What do you mean? You believe Caleb has wronged you. You think of him as your enemy. You came west to get revenge. And nothing's going to stop me. If I told you... Huh? You told me what? If I told you that Caleb and his wife were in great danger, that they needed help badly... That you could help them, would you? Is that why you told me to get to the saddle? It is. Thanks. I'm glad you told me now so that I won't have to waste my time. What's that mean? I'm staying here. I see. You talk as though you picked up their trail. As if you knew where they were, do you? Yes. Well, why didn't you get them? For reasons of my own, Ted. I don't understand. It isn't necessary that you should. Are you going to help them, or aren't you? Why should I help the man who cheated me? Because he's old. I... Because he was once your father's best friend, no matter what you may think of him now. But just... And because he's helpless. He's the prisoner of a man who would stop at nothing. Just the same. I don't see why... And you'll do nothing? You're willing to have it on your conscience? You might have gone to help him and didn't? I... Are you? <coughs> Where are you going? You said Tanda was waiting at that hill, didn't you? I did. You sure I can find him? You should have no difficulty at all if you follow the directions I gave you. All right. You are going after Caleb? I'm a fool for doing it, masked man, but I am. Get up. Get up there. Silver old boy. I'm afraid Ted doesn't hate Caleb as much as he likes to think he does. So we'll just let him get out of sight, boy. Then we'll ride and get there before him. I know somebody's been there. I've seen their sign. Who was it? What do they want? Let go. Don't you do that. Don't you dare. He'll talk or I'll twist his arm right off no. of him. Talk or I'll break Someone's you. coming. What the? Out of my way. Oh. If it's one of them, come back again. I'll... He's going to shoot. Put down that gun. Get back. Ted out there. Caleb, it's Ted. Drop that gun or I'll... I told you. Let no. go. You dirty scum. Take it. <laughs> Mix. I'll fix it. No, you don't. Hey. Oh, my arm. You... Uh. Oh, and this. Oh, I'll blast you. I'll show you, dogs. No. Get enough? I ain't licking it. Then how do you like this? Hey, let go. Let me down. Ah, 
get up and take some more. I'll give you the beating of your life. No, no, no. Up with you. Hold it. What? I'll make him let me go. Make him let me loose. He'll kill me. He'll kill me. Stop him, but... Can't you see the fellow's almost out in his feet? He hasn't had half what he's got coming. He'll get the rest when he's taken to jail. All right, mister. If the masked man hadn't stopped me, I'd have broken every crooked bone in your body. Uh, Ted, my boy, where did you come from? How did Ted you... Ted followed you west, Caleb. What? To get revenge on you. I don't... But understand. instead, he saved you. Now, I wonder if he'll go on acting the fool the way he has been. Huh? Me? Acting... Acting like a fool? What... Caleb has told me his side of the story. Ted, I believe he told me the truth. I don't believe there was anything dishonest on his part in connection with the loss of your money. I've tried to tell him that, masked man. Tried to tell him he could share whatever was mine. Maybe now he'll not be so stubborn. Well, Ted, do you think you still hate Caleb? In spite of the fact that you just came to his rescue? It's, it's funny. Yes? I, I don't know just how to put it in words. It, explain it. Explain what, Ted? I... I did believe Caleb had cheated me, Mrs. Saxon. But now you... Well, it's... It's as if all this had opened my eyes, as if... Well, as if it's like the masked man said. You can't go on disliking a man when... when you've done him a favor. Then we're friends again, boy. If you want it, Caleb. I do. I'll go on back east. Forget all about that. You this. will not. But I, I... You're staying with us. We'll all start over again. Together. I... The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.